Hello, my name is Brian Weeks and I'm a Senior AEC Technical Specialist for ATG USA. And today, in Revit 2020, I'm going to talk about Path of Travel. Path of Travel element allows you to analyze travel distances and times between two selected points in your model. The Path of Travel tool is located under the Analysis tab, Route Analysis, and we have two selection buttons to choose from, Path of Travel and Reveal Obstacles. We also, under that same heading, we have some settings that we can take a look at to specify which elements will not be considered as an obstacle when calculating the route analysis. In a plan view, the path of travel is established by selecting a start point and an end point. Select your path of travel, select your start point, select your end point at the exit, and it generates that path of travel. By analyzing the model, that path of travel is generated based on the model elements that are acting as obstacles along that path. And of course, the path of travel will avoid contact with model elements in the analysis zone and also from the list that we determined in the route analysis settings. I might mention that path of travel elements are view specific and act as detail elements in the views they are placed in. As an addition, a path of travel line can be tagged and scheduled. So to tag this path of travel, you can tag by category. And a path of travel tag can be loaded from your default uh, family library that installs with your Revit 2020. And this default tag shows the distance traveled and the time traveled in that distance. Now I want to show you something really cool about this as well with the new path of travel. I'm going to unhide some of my elements that are hidden, such as these tables and chairs. And as you can see, the generated path of travel is going through one of the table and chair sets. Well, by selecting on the path of travel, it gives me an analysis selection of updating or I can even add my own waypoint. But let's just do the update tool for now and it's going to change that path to miss the obstacle. Now another great thing too is that you can do this as many times as you want. So let's say we want to shift these tables over into some kind of strange classroom pattern perhaps. Well I can still generate and update that pattern. Now with this tool, you can also create multiple paths. So by going back to Analyze and Path of Travel, I can select our start point, generate paths to new exits, tag those paths, and lastly, I actually have created a path of travel schedule which will show the paths and their length and their time. You can add additional fields if you so choose, uh, but just for this demonstration I thought I'd make it easy to show a couple. You can also name these paths with a mark. And by labeling these paths, I can now track those paths in my schedule. So that's it for today, Path of Travel in Autodesk Revit 2020. Please visit our website, auto, uh, atgusa.com. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. If you'd like to see some additional uh, quick tips or a suggestion, uh, please email us. Thank you and have a great day.